Seeing squash is a sign that fall is here. They have beautiful displays in the stores and we walk by and we think those are awesome. They have beautiful colors, wonderful textures. Well today I'm here to show you that we have a lot of different varieties of squash and we're going to focus on the spaghetti squash because it's actually so much easier than you can imagine. So we're going to start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees because we're going to roast it for about 30 minutes. Um, you'll want to start by having a medium sized spaghetti squash and a really sharp knife. That way you can crack this thing open and that's about the most work that you're going to have to do. So I'm going to start by getting my knife and then cutting it lengthwise and putting a little bit of force into it. And you open it up and it has lots of flesh and seeds in there. Looks similar to a pumpkin. Now what you want to do is take a spoon and you'll just start to scoop out the seeds into a bowl that you have. You want to apply some pressure and scrape pretty hard but not too hard because you want to leave that flesh in there. That's what you're going to be enjoying later tonight. So you'll see some of that stringy um, inside similar to the pumpkin again and you do want to get that out. It's kind of a darker color. Okay, so now we're pretty much almost finished already prepping. You'll take a basting brush and a little bit of olive oil and just coat the inside. Just nice and lightly. There you go. Salt and pepper. Just add a little bit. You can always go back and add more later. You'll want to grab a shallow roasting pan because we're going to add a little bit of water to it. I find that the water helps to steam the flesh as it cooks in the oven. So you'll pour it right into your dish. And then the last tip for your spaghetti squash is to simply place it face down in your dish. So even if you've let your spaghetti squash rest, it can still be a little hot. So I'm gonna have an oven mitt for mine and you will break the flesh like so, and it will simply fall out of the squash onto your plate. I like clean flavors, so what I will do is simply squeeze some lemon on top. I like to let the lemon juice go through my hands so that the seeds don't get onto my noodles or my squash. And then I would top with some Parmesan cheese for flavor, adds a bit of sharpness and it'll melt right on those hot noodles. As much or as little as you'd like. Add your fresh basil, like so. And add salt and pepper as you'd like. And there you go, a very fast seasonal meal from the oven to your plate. <laughs>